her story or her child. <laughs> Weekdays at 9.30 after Richard Simmons on 7. The People's Court, today at 4.30. Thank you very much. Derek just left his office a few minutes ago. He's obviously in transit. What would you like me to do, sir? Just keep yourself available. As I said, if we're going to help Raven Whitney, we're going to need police cooperation. Yes, I realize. That means that Chief Mallory's going to have to hear your story as soon as possible. I was going to go back to the studio and do some packing. Are you planning on leaving? No, not Monticello. This car. That's something you can't do. You and all the others involved in this uh, off-Broadway production. Yes, I understand. We have to get in touch with everyone we can. I especially want to speak to Cliff and to Calvin about their part in this. Sir, please remember what I told you about them and Mitzi. They had no idea what this was about. They were completely in the dark. Well, I'm sure that if they realized how far this had gone, they would have put a stop to it. Yeah, I think Smiley knew that, too. That's why he pulled them out of this whole production early. That still doesn't absolve them completely. No. I don't think any of us can be absolved completely. Now, I'm going to tell you what the final price is, Mrs. Whitney. What we want is what you, the envelope you've got in your safe in your hotel. All right, forget it. I decided that I don't want to do business with you guys. I don't see where you've got a hell of a lot of choice. Oh, yeah? Well, just wait and see. <gasps> so hurry, lady. And you see, we are all going to go to that hotel, and you are going to pick up that envelope. And by tomorrow morning, you'll be on the boat Go into the land of palm trees and sunny skies. And no cops. No! Honestly, I don't think you're getting my drift here. There is no such thing as no, Mrs. Whitney. You've got to do it. Otherwise, you'll be floating to South America. But I guarantee you, you ain't going to be in no boat. Is that a threat? No, it's not a threat. It's a promise. So you're at a distinct disadvantage here, Mrs. Whitney. You've already disappeared. Am I right? No, that's not true. There are some people that were with me, and they're back in the hotel room, and they're going to be very worried about me. I just came from your hotel, lady. You just had a single. I listened outside the door. There's nobody else there. Now, listen, you. Listen to me, you. Nobody is going to miss you. You're in the Big Apple. And if you come up floating somewhere, nobody's even going to know who the hell you are. And with your money, I don't think you want that. Does she, yeah. Edge of Night is brought to you by Comet, the cleanser that disinfects as it cleans. And by New Formula Era, a new combination of powerful cleaners concentrated into one quarter cup. Chocolate sauce soaked in, motor oil seeped in, collar soil ground in. Unless you clean the dirts that go all the way through, your whole wash isn't clean. That's why we invented Era. Era has the power of cleaners for deep down dirt, for soaked in grease, for seeped in oil, for grounding collar soil. Penetrating cleaners concentrated to put more cleaning power on the stain. Watch Hera clean all the way through these three layers of tough stains. Put a teaspoon of Hera only on the top. Its power penetrates. Rub, run under warm water, and look. Hera cleaned all the way through. And when you get the tough stains clean, your whole wash is clean. Hera cleans all the way through. Boy, the garbage that gets dumped in my sink and those food stains, they're tough to clean. But you know what else is in there? Germs. So I don't just clean with any cleanser. I cometize. That's the best kind of clean a sink can get, because Comet gets out tough, greasy food stains better than any leading cleanser. And look, it disinfects, too. If a cleanser doesn't do all that, it doesn't get a sink clean enough for me. Comet with Chlorinol cleans rings around other cleansers. It even gets out tough, greasy food stains they leave behind. And it kills most household germs. That's Cometized. Comet cleans better and it disinfects, too. 
So why just clean your sink? Go all the way. Too comatized. Dee Dee, I don't understand you. You have a great deal of compassion when it comes to these criminals, but when Calvin comes around, you don't give him the time of day. Cliff, if there's one thing I've given Calvin, it's plenty of time. Is it because he's a cop? Did it ever occur to you that you hate cops because of your childhood? Right, I was bitten by one once. Dee Dee, I'm talking about your kid brother. You said he was sent away to prison. Look, Cliff, would you please let me finish this brief? I want to get home sometime tonight. Dee Dee, you're not listening to me. Did it ever occur to you that subconsciously you hate cops because of this childhood trauma? You know, if there's one thing I can't stand, it's an amateur psychoanalyst. Face the facts. Will you look what you're doing? You work very hard for these criminals you don't even know. You pour out your heart and your soul. Yet, when Calvin comes around and offers you a, a personal relationship... What's going on here? Has Calvin retained you to plead his case? No, he's just a friend of mine, that's all. Well, the verdict is in, Cliff. Calvin is guilty of loving his wife. She's pregnant. Oh, Dee Dee. Case closed. <laughs> Don't you see that even if he loves you, he's going to feel obligated to her? Obviously. <laughs> I'm not going to get any more work done. I'll have to finish this in the morning. <sighs> Dee Dee. Now I know why they call you Dee Dee the Destroyer. Oh, really? Who calls me that? All the guys down at the courthouse. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Well, if you're going home, I'll give you a lift. No, I'm not going home. I have to meet with a client. You said you were going home. You see, you lied because I've touched the nerve here, haven't I? No, I am going home, and I am not lying. I have to meet with my client first. You're going downtown. I'll give you a lift. No, I'm not going downtown. He's out on bail. Where's your meeting? Come on, I want to finish this discussion. Well, I don't want to talk about it anymore, and it's at the Lucky Salvage Company. Oh, wait a minute. Hold, hold, hold. Lucky Salvage Company? Who's your client? It's not Eddie Lormer, is it? No, it isn't. It's someone who works at the scrapyard. His name is Vincent Green. Vincent Green? Where have I heard that name before? I have no idea. Good night, Cliff. Wait a minute, Dee Dee, we're not done yet. Dee Dee, you're just suppressing your emotion. That... Dee Dee! Nelson and Bannister. Cliff, my car. Oh, uh... Mike, uh... You going to be at this number for the next few hours? I may have to call a late meeting. Well, um, sure. A, a late meeting for what? I'm waiting to reach Derek Mallory right now to set it up. It concerns a certain practical joke that's been taking place recently. Uh, a practical joke? Involving Raven Whitney. I think you know the story, Cliff. What you don't know is the punchline. Again, Nancy asked me to come by their place tonight, but I didn't want to. I'll tell you the truth, if Nicole were here and not at the studio, or if Gavin and Jody were here, I wouldn't have come by to see you. I understand, believe me. The last thing I want to look at are scenes of domestic bliss. Well, that feeling will go away eventually. So will the pain. Now, listen, I'm sure you're going to hear that often enough. I don't mind hearing things like that. Anything that helps? This helps. Yeah, hello. Mike, how are you? Yes, he's here, as a matter of fact. It's Mike Carr. Yeah, Mike, what's up? Derek. Something unusual has happened. Nancy and I just had a visitor who told a very peculiar story. Now, it's not an official police matter since no complaint has been filed, but I think you'll find it worth your attention. Well, you want to give me a hint what it's about? It concerns the mysterious disappearance of Raven Whitney. I didn't realize there was a mysterious disappearance. That's what makes it so strange. But I think the problem will be quite evident when you hear the story. All right. Uh, you want to meet somewhere? Wherever you say. I'll come over to your place if you like. Nah. No, not my place. I'll come over to your place. That's all right. I'll leave here in about 15 minutes. Okay. Do you know anything about Raven disappearing? No, I don't. I wonder what she could have gotten herself into now. Now, look, honey, we're still going to get you out of the country. Don't worry about it. It's just going to cost you a little more than what you thought. But I gotta have some money. I don't want to go to South America and pick coffee beans. Hey, we won't take it all, Mrs. Whitney. Right, Wolfie? Ah, uh, of course not. Hey, do we look like uh, greedy people to you? Tell you what. What if I give you more money? Not just $50,000. I'll give you $100,000 or almost $100,000. I spent a little bit of it. You got it with you? Now, I think we'll take our chances with the envelope, honey. Oh. Now, that wasn't nice. Leave him without saying goodbye? Was it? Uh, I can see you can't make up your mind, sweetheart. All right, well, we're going to give you a little time here to think about it. 
You've got uh... ten seconds. Mr. Foster, why can't one toothpaste do it all? <laughs> you need a complete toothpaste. Try new triple protection Aquafresh. All the cavity fighting fluoride of the leading paste, all the breath freshener of the leading gel, and gentle cleaners that even remove stained film. Concentrated in one complete toothpaste. New Aquafresh does it all. Right. New triple protection Aquafresh, a complete toothpaste. Uh-oh, it's Miss Know-It-All. Cousin Mimi. Wait till she finds out we switched from this mayonnaise to craft real mayonnaise. Martha! <laughs> Harriet, you're using craft. Well, we've discovered here, craft looks creamier. It's specially blended over 3,000 times. And nothing beats its creamy taste. No. Yes, here. Craft does taste creamy. Now we know better. Takes some of us longer. Nothing tastes creamier than craft real mayonnaise. Now you know. Don't tell me. You're a cop. Is your name Diedrichson? Yeah. My name is, uh, Chad Sutherland. Okay, Mr. Sutherland, what's this all about? Uh, Gavin Wiley brought me here, Mr. Diedrichson. He thought I might be interested in renting the place as an atelier. As a what? A workshop. A painting studio. I'm an artist. At least I call myself one. So you're not a cop? <laughs> No. Anyway, I met Gavin at Sid's Tavern, and uh, he suggested this place. Well, where's Gavin now? Went back to Sid's. He's meeting his girlfriend. Uh, you said you were a friend of his? I haven't seen you around. Uh, we just met a while ago. Anyway, I waited to see you because I had a question to ask you. What about? About whether you might be interested in uh, sharing the studio, splitting the rent. Are you serious? Well, Gavin said you didn't really want to move. It was just, uh, economics. Do you know what my line of work is? Gavin says that you have a drama group and that you also teach. He says that you work late mostly, which is what makes it so perfect. You see, I only work in the morning. Are you serious about this? I don't need all this space. And I've got, uh, economic problems, too. <sighs> Listen. It'd be a stretch for me even now with, with half the rent, but, but I could do it. If I just dropped my apartment, I could, I could sleep here and I could swing it. Great. I, I wouldn't be in your way or anything, because I could just move into the storage room in the back. All I'd need is a three-inch bed. <laughs> <laughs> then have we got a deal? Well, I'd be getting into something pretty important, and I don't know you. I don't know anything about you either. So we start out even. Yeah, that's true. What the hell? <laughs> Thanks. And I'll really have to thank Gavin. Where did you meet Gavin? Uh, we met at a party. Or rather, uh, I met his girl at a party, Jody. Oh, she's really beautiful, isn't she? You know, when Du and I first started out, Times were pretty tough, so we cut corners whenever we could. And I'm not ashamed to admit that I've tried cheaper shortening. Mm -hmm. But I came back to Crisco. Cause Crisco makes my chicken taste like something special with no greasy taste. Mmm, mighty tasty. Chicken is good. Must mean you're doing something right. Hey, come on, Mom, let's eat. All vegetable, no cholesterol, Crisco. Crisco will do you proud every time. Betsy smells funny. That's baby smells. Smelly formula, sticky baby food. Diapers. <laughs> That's ammonia. Baby laundry is a special problem. So instead of regular detergent, I use Dreft with enriched borax. It's specially made for baby laundry. There's borax in grain after grain of Dreft. Dreft gets tough baby laundry clean and clean smelling. Now she smells good. Dreft cleans baby smells out of baby laundry. My mom always says... A penny saved is a penny earned. I save with this. Place not, want not. Dawn handles more grease for the money. Are you sure? Am I your mother? Look, I've washed greasy dishes in an average bargain liquid, and Dawn... 
See, Dawn handles more grease for the money. Keeps grease away from dishes. With Dawn, dishes look great. My hands don't feel greasy. They'd look better with a wedding ring. Next time, call. Dawn, handle more grease for your money. Will you do me a favor? Will you calm down, huh? You're squashing the hell out of my carpet. They ain't got no carpets in the joint, you know that? They just got cold, hard floors. Tell me about it. You know, I never saw the inside of a joint. I spent all my early years in Harvard. I mean, come on, what difference does it make? You're a free man, ain't you? Not for long. They found all that stuff, Eddie. They'll trace it back to every job I ever pulled. But that's your fault, you mental midget. Who told you to bring all that stuff to your apartment? What are you trying to do, pull all these fences out of business? Some stuff is hard to get rid of. Yeah, like that pretty picture? The pretty picture you were supposed to be burning in the furnace? Quit hassling me about the picture. Hassling you, you ingrate! I'm the guy who's being hassled! You made some very important people very mad at me. I didn't think it would hurt to keep one lousy painting. I liked it. You liked it? You liked it? What are you all of a sudden, a art connoisseur? I liked the girl in the picture. She reminded me of somebody. Yeah. Who, your mother? No. A girl I used to dream about. You know, that's the trouble with you, kid. You're always dreaming. This time, your dream turned out to be a little bit of a nightmare, huh? She was just... Something different. I can't explain it. Get that. It's probably your mouthpiece. This chick better be good. I'm telling Maybe you now. She's terrific. No kidding. She got me off last time. Maybe she could do it again. Hello, Vincent. Hi, Miss Bannister. How do you do? Come on in. Have a seat. Uh, get the lady a drink. Uh, Vincent, uh, my name's Eddie Lorimer. You're... Bannister. Dee Dee Bannister. How do you do, Miss Bannister? Have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Uh... My boy Vinny here tells me uh, you're quite a firecracker when it comes to the courthouse. Is that true? Let's say I've been known to explode from time to time. Well, that's okay. Hey, listen, you got him off once before. The only problem is that you got to do it again. You know what I mean? Vinny's a good kid. Well, I don't know all the facts this time, Mr. Lorimer, so I'm not making any promises. Now, listen, if it's a question of money or anything like that, you know, you just say the word. You get all you need. You see, Vinny is like... He's like what you call family, you know what I mean? Do you really want to help Vincent, Mr. Larmer? Of course. Say the word. Whatever you need, you got it. What do you need? Well, for starters, don't associate his name with yours. <laughs> this chick is terrific. I <laughs> love it. You know, you're very good. I'll tell you what we'll do, uh, Miss Bannister. You get Vinny out of this little mess. And maybe I'm going to give you a couple of little messes of mine to clean up, huh? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is going to be the damnedest thing I've ever heard. Who are these guys? Are they kids? Not just guys, Derek. There were several women involved in this scam, too. Mike, are you sure this all really happened? I mean, this, this guy, Dedrickson, he's in the theater. Actors have very vivid imaginations. I don't think there's any doubt of it, Derek. No, it was obvious that he was very uncomfortable telling us what he did. What did you tell him? For one thing, I didn't minimize the seriousness of it. Even a joke can become a crime if it goes too far. At this point, Raven may not even realize she has a grievance. The only crime she knows about is the one she thinks she committed. This all must have taken some very careful planning, too. It must have been expensive. Where would the money come from? That's a very good question. I guess the only way we're going to get the answers is to drag these play actors down and uh, have them do the talking. Derek, you realize uh, there are some of these people that we know. Uh, some of them we're rather close to. We can't let that matter. No, absolutely not. All right, let's go down the list. There's Jim Diedrichson. What would you call him, the, the director? Well, I think Smiley Wilson fits that category. Apparently, it was his idea in the first place. All right, Diedrichson, Smiley Wilson... Smiley Wilson has a brother? Uh, Hector Wilson, yes. And then there's uh, Cliff Nelson and Mitzi Martin. And one of your detectives, Calvin Stoner. Calvin. I hope you're going to tell me this is the end of the list. Well, this is fantastic. I thought you'd find that letter interesting. I don't believe it. Are you sure this isn't a mistake? No mistake. You have been named Broadcaster of the Year. 
Well, local broadcaster, anyway. Well, I think that's an even greater compliment when you consider how many local newscasters there are in this country. Oh, yes, but the only part I don't like about it is this last paragraph. Yeah, I thought you might not. The National Association of Television Newscasters will present the awards on the second day of its four-day convention, but we are requesting that all award recipients be present for the entire period for press interviews and other events. Oh, dear. That means four days away. That'll be five, including travel. Is there any chance that Miles can go with you? Oh, no, I don't think so. It was hard enough to get him away for those ten days that we spent together. Well, I hope this isn't going to make a difference. Now, Nicole, you simply must go. Oh, I don't know. This is going to mean rearranging all sorts of schedules. Mine as well as at WMON. It will be well worth it. <laughs> well, I suppose it couldn't hurt the station any. Couldn't hurt your career, either. Oh, please don't talk about my career as if I'm trying to advance it. I have gone as far as I intend to go in this business. Oh, yeah, we'll see. The future has a way of taking care of itself. Oh, Geraldine. Oh, dear, this is going to create a real problem for you, though, isn't it? No, no, no. Don't worry about that. The only real problem on my mind at the moment is trying to locate Raven. Time's up, sweetheart. What are you going to do to me? I don't know. What are we going to do to her, Al? Kill her, Wolfie. I don't think she believes this, Al. Well, then we'll just have to show her, hmm? All right! All right! I'll go with you to the hotel room. Now, you've been very sensible. We'll bring the car around front. And you, you come over here, and you just relax. How do the vitamins in these cereals compare with totals? I don't know. This shield shows Total has 100% of a day's allowance of nine vitamins and iron. Okay. Put Total Shield on your cereal to compare vitamins. I eat grape nuts. 25%. Total's a lot higher. But how's it taste? Crisp flakes of whole grain wheat. Mmm. And... 100% of nine vitamins. That's the total difference. Shine it up, shine it down. to show for it. I clean with Glass Plus and show off the shine. Windows to chrome, plus a whole lot more. Look anywhere in my house. There's a shine all around. Shine it here, shine it there. Glass Plus shines up everywhere. It shines glass, plus a whole lot more. Tonight, a special edition of Incredible Kids on That's Incredible. Featuring the youngest jockey to beat Willie Shoemaker, Preakness winner Jack Canal. Then, Emmy winners Lou Gossett and Cicely Tyson. Strong. Fighting for a shot at the last hurrah and love. Benny's place. Hello? Guess what? I've been voted local newscaster of the year. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy I am. That's wonderful. Oh, well, it's mostly wonderful. Listen, listen, we gotta, we gotta celebrate, huh? Tomorrow night, oh, we can't. Tomorrow night, the Endicott's are coming. Uh, honey, honey, I have to tell you something right away. I'm not even gonna be here tomorrow night. What? Well, the letter is the good news. The bad news is they want me at their darn convention. It's four days in L.A., and I have to be there day after tomorrow. Well, that's what I call short notice. I know, I know. They apologize profusely for it, but apparently they just made the decision. It's all right. It's all right. We'll celebrate when you get back from L.A. <sighs> okay. So, how's Derek? Is he still there? No, he didn't stay very long. He got called away in some kind of emergency. So worried, sweetheart. Everything's going to be all right. What the hell is Al? He should have been back a long time ago. Um, do you have a ladies room here? You mean a head? If that's what you mean, yeah, it's in there. Only thing, there's no back door, and there's no windows, if that's what you're thinking of. Where the hell is her passport?
Where's the babe? In the back. What are you doing? You know, the boys really did a good job on these papers. I thought you said you were still going to get her on a boat. Yeah, well, she wouldn't enjoy it, Al. She'll be too unhappy thinking about all the money she left behind. And we don't want any dissatisfied customers now, do we? Mrs. Whitney won't need any papers on the kind of trip that she's going on. Hello, house persons. Mona here with today's helpful hint. For cleaning grease, use this top liquid cleaner. Sorry, Mona. Fine Soul cleans grease better. Uh, who are you? Katie, the cleaning lady. Watch this. Concentrated Pine Soul cuts through grease better than any other leading liquid cleaner. Oh. And Pine Soul cleaner disinfectant kills household germs and odors and leaves a fresh scent. Pine Soul cleans grease better, kills germs, and leaves a fresh scent. Now that's a helpful hint. The sale is on. The biggest crochet heart bra sale of the year. <laughs> The sale is on. Save 20% on your favorite Cross Your Heart styles. Oh, Playtex announces the incredible Cross Your Heart summer sale. Save 20% on undercup support panel bras, seamless and more. Try the bra that lifts and separates for a better figure. The sale is on. Save 20% on Playtex Cross Your Heart. Uh, right now. Pepsi Challenge and find out.